Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you a quick overview of the Magic Touch 2.2. So we are in the year 2025, so this is a new updated series of these tutorial as you requested. So as you can see in the Magic Touch 2.2 we have the retouch section, the looks section, the face work, the effects, utilities and finish. Each of these sections has some specific workflows and features inside of it, but of course all of them can be used at the same time in sequence and of course according to your personal workflow. So for example, I can go to the retouch section and I will see all the retouching features made specifically for retouching. So as you can see, we have the skin tab open if we click on the skin tab, it will collapse and we have the other ones, eyes, lips and hair, which are always visible at the bottom down here. So I can open them like this and they can be all open at once. But you can always collapse one of those so you see just the ones you walking on. If you need to switch from one module to the other one, you can always press the image or the logo up here like this and switch to some other set of features or you can just use these colors you see up here. So I can go to the red one and it will go to utilities. As you can see, go to utilities is written up here. So now I'm in utilities. So you can switch like this through the colors or rather click on the big icon and just switch from here. So for example, let's say we want to retouch quickly some small blemishes on this photo. So I will be sure to be in the skin retouching module. I will go to the skin retouching and I can, for example, choose remove acne. Once I apply the remove acne, I can use it. In this case, I will pick the white brush tool adjust its size accordingly, set a low opacity and paint a little bit over her blemishes. We don't want to do nothing too fancy on her. She's already perfect as she is. So before, after, before, after. So let's say this is everything we want to do in this section. So now we can go to the other ones. So we can go to the looks, face warp, effects, utilities and finish. Let's see what we have, for example, in face warp. In face warp, we can play with the size of eyes, nose, lips and face. So, for example, we can move up the forehead a little bit. So this is the before and the after. So we can work with a more oval face. We can make the jawline smaller, for example, before and after. We can play with the eyes. So let's say we want the eye bigger. So before and after, let's say it's too much. So we can go a little bit smaller. So something like this, okay? As you can see, of course, these layers are adding up. So you have the full control of the history of what's happening. Anytime you can just merge them down as you usually do in Photoshop. The next section we can go to is for example looks where we have adjustments, variant looks, themes, looks and split toning. So you can just choose what you like. Maybe you want to add a little bit of saturation to this image. So you just can press once and you see saturation was added. Maybe you want, want a little bit warmer look. So you can choose from these four warm tones. So let's say we want this one or maybe we want this more natural warm tone or warm two or warm three tone may be very nice to finish your photo. This is the before and this is the after. I will go personally for a normal warm look. So it's a little bit warmer like this. Okay, so this is the before and this is the after. Very nice. Of course, we have colder look, lighter. We can uh, make a little light HDR on this photo, as you can see. So all the details come up. 
Anytime you can add your own masking and as you are already used to in Photoshop, you can just reveal maybe subtly some details in her hair like this. So you never really have to overdo what you already doing. So just retouch following your instincts. So this is the before and this is the after. Already very, very nice. You can light up, you can fade it, you can wash out. For example, faded baby, it's a very nice feature. I personally like a lot, so just press it and it will give us this washed out, very, very nice look. Then we can play with low ex exposure, color boost, you can try them all and see what really fits your personal preference. So for example, imagine you are at the end of the whole process and you want to add some cool themed look, so you can go for the New York for example and see if you like it. Maybe it's too strong, so you can lower the opacity anytime and you go for something like this. This is, for example, in my opinion, a very nice editorial look. So this is the before and this is the after. Okay, so now we can switch to face warp or module effects. So for example, you can add some corner lights, some lens flares, some halos. You can add as many packs as you really want. Then you can add some, some procedural effects and this, like fog, snow, rain and so on. In this case it's not really the case, so let's go for some corner lights, something maybe like this. And you see we have this nice corner light, but I think I will go for this one personally. This is very nice. Let's make the fill a little bit more subtle, something like this. I think it's just perfect. Anytime, of course, we can manually expand it. So we just decide the exact size we like. So something like this, in my opinion, can be very, very nice. So at the end of the whole process, I like to go to the module utilities where we can play with the color match in case we want to match the colors of some other photo or we can go down here to create some luminosity masks in case of a more in-depth retouching we can go to the subject enhancement something like this so for example we can focus on the subject with the number two and as you can see now we have a more focus on the subject with some strength around it. So it's maybe too much, so I adjust the fill to 28%. And then we have some other effects which are specifically used to remove some imperfections such as solar curve and other analysis tools. Then we can go to the finish module where we can add some detailing, for example, only to a layer or to the whole image. So something like that. As you can see now, we see much more details, which may be too much. So I will lower the fill or the opacity a little bit down to 25%, something like this. I crank it up to 30 so you can see it better. So before and after, okay? Then if we, of course, want, we can add some photo grain, fine, normal or rough. We can add some fine grain, as you can see, or we can add some cinematic grain, like fine, like this, which is, in my opinion, very nice. But in this case, I don't need it really, so I will keep it like at 5%, just to give it that subtle touch. Then we have the background control, we can darken the background, we can lighten the background, we can control the blur, we can blur the background and some final touches like soft contrast, curves contrast. We can add some soft vignette if we want, so before and after, which is very nice. It helps to focus on the subject. 
we can enhance the HDR even more. We can control the watermarks, which is a very nice feature. It's very used by a lot of photographers. And finally, we can save the image. So guys, this is a very comprehensive and quick overview of the whole panel in case you are new to Magic Touch 2, specifically 2.2. So you can start to enjoy it by the first moment you install it. Enjoy if, of course, if you still don't have it, I will leave the link down here in the description.